a good view of the approaching uh, Soyuz craft. The uh, middle section is the descent module. That's where the three crew members are strapped in, Anatoly Ivanishin. Uh, in the center seat is the Soyuz commander, watching uh, his control panel, flanked uh, to his left by Takoya Onishi, and on his right, NASA's Kate Rubens, as uh, the Soyuz begins to close in for a link up to the Rosviet module and at least a four-month stay on board the International Space Station. You can see uh, the crosshairs uh, on this engineering uh, camera on the Soyuz spacecraft coming into alignment with the docking target as planned. The two vehicles, the Soyuz and the space station, 254 statute miles over the South Pacific. Range is three. Uh, the roll has stabilized. There is no roll now. There is no roll deviation. We're approaching really nicely. Hey, we see it on the camera. We see it on the camera. We are standing by for contact. Yes, contact confirmed. And. Probe retraction confirmed. Docking confirmed. A textbook arrival for the brand new Soyuz MS-01 spacecraft. Docking confirmed at 11.06 p.m. Central Time, 7.06 a.m. Moscow Time, as the International Space Station and the Soyuz and its three crew members flew 254 statute miles over the South Pacific. Three new crew members have arrived at the International Space Station after a perfect shakedown mission for this upgraded Soyuz vehicle. 070635. Okay. And uh, the hatch now opening to the uh, Soyuz MS-01 spacecraft and the arrival of three new crew members on the International Space Station. Pete Rubens, first through the hatch. Takaya Onishi, looking hale and hearty as he's greeted uh, by his new crewmates. Applause from the balcony, and there is Anatoly Ivanishin, his second arrival on the International Space Station.